Good evening. I'm going to dedicate um, several segments going forward on the heavyweight contenders of the middle 1960s through the middle 1970s, which was a time when there was some real iron in the heavyweight division. Um, Leotis Martin, Jerry Quarry, Floyd Patterson, and uh, of course, Ernie Shavers, uh, Carl Mildenberg, Sonny Liston, just to name a few. But the fighter I am going to focus on this evening was a rough and tough, brawling and durable heavyweight contender from the mid-1960s until his untimely death in May of 1976, and that is Oscar Bonavena. Oscar uh, had victories over several ranking contenders, one being Leotis Martin, the other being George Chavallo, and the other being Carl Mildenberger in the WBA Elimination Tournament, which was um, designed to uh, establish a, a successor to uh, Muhammad Ali, who was in exile. And um, when you look at Bonavena's career, he fought many, many top-ranking contenders, he lost the decision to Ron Lyle. He lost the decision to Floyd Patterson in what was really Floyd's last fight. He was badly outboxed by Zora Foley. Um, but I do think the most notable bout of Bonavena's career was uh, up against a young, rising heavyweight contender, the big-time puncher from Philadelphia, Joe Frazier, in 1966. And really, Bonavena was Frazier's first test. This bout was in Madison Square Garden, and Mark Kahn was the referee. And um, Frazier was a favorite, but Bonavena was uh, definitely looked upon as Frazier's most formidable opponent to that point. And in the second round, Bonavena landed a tremendous right-hand punch and put Frazier down hard, and Joe was hurt. And uh, a few seconds later, a, comb a combination of punches and kind of a half shove, and Joe was given another eight count. And he had to survive that round. If he would have went down a third time, the three-knockdown rule would have been an automatic technical knockout. And Frazier would have suffered a devastating defeat, could have altered the course of boxing history. But Joe got back on his feet and did what Joe Frazier does. He came right at Bonavena for the 10 rounds, got himself back in the fight. It was a very close decision. Uh, it was a split decision. One judge did vote for Bonavena on, on a point system, and uh, Joe did get the win. And then they had a return match when Joe was the five-state champion. He won that title with a knockout over Buster Mathis at Madison Square Garden. And he was recognized as heavyweight champion of the world in five states. And he gave Bonavena a rematch, a shot at the title in Philadelphia. And this was a... Frazier dominated him in this fight for the most part, winning a unanimous 15-round decision. But over the last three or four rounds, Joe began to tire badly. And Bonavena had him somewhat close to a knockdown in the last round. And Joe uh, Bonavena finishing the stronger of the two, but Joe getting the unanimous decision. Uh, he was a durable contender. He fought practically everybody. Didn't have a lot of boxing skill, but he could punch and he could take a punch. Witness to that was um, the bout against uh, Muhammad Ali at the Garden. It was Ali's um, second bout um, on the comeback trail after he was given his license to fight again. The first being a technical knockout over Jerry Quarry in three rounds in Georgia because of a cut eye. And the Bonavena Ali fight, uh, 15 rounds, uh, Bonavena gave him nothing but trouble. The scoring was remarkably close, and he shook up uh, Ali in the ninth round, the round Ali predicted he would knock Bonavena out in. But finally, Ali did something that Frazier and nobody could do. He he landed a perfect port, you know, perfect porterhouse left hook in the 15th round, Put Bonavena down. Oscar was out on his feet, didn't know where he was, and Clay put him, Ali put him down uh, two more times and um, was awarded a technical knockout. So Muhammad Ali did something Joe Frazier couldn't do over 25 rounds, and that's knockout Oscar Bonavena. And Bonavena remained in the heavyweight pitcher. He did get a points win over a borderline contender, Larry Middleton, and um, was still a factor until he was sadly um, shot to death at a brothel in South America in 1976. But he deserves respect. He would be a formidable contender today, today without a doubt. Um, and he was, at his, at his peak, a top four or five ranked heavyweight contender in the world. So uh, Oscar Bonavena, tough fighter, deserves a lot of respect. And um, 
We'll be on. We'll, next time, we're going to talk about Jimmy Ellison, my next segment, the former WBA heavyweight title holder. Thank you.